okay so this is a video for uh, project 4 and uh, in this project we are going to um, like run the Baxter model so just control plus alt T we'll be needing five terminals for this and um, the procedure is very simple go to ROS workspace which is the name of our workspace okay and launch the uh, baxter.sh then we launch the world okay and this will launch the world for now we will keep this world uh, minimized then we uh, have to run the joint trajectory server.py again the same procedure okay and then ROS run the robot was enabled and then we do ROS run okay now we have to launch the Baxter model so cd ROS workspace source the level slash setup dot bash ROS launch your Baxter model okay and you pass these arguments okay and uh, so that your electric vapor is to then you launch your python program to move the cube okay so this was Arvis Arvis has been launched we minimize this also so we launch a python program which has the code okay uh, before that we can also look at the topic okay so this is the topic and we are getting the xyz position here of the end effector so here we launch our python program using ROS run okay as soon as we press enter our robot will start moving okay and we can see that it moves and we are getting live messages here okay it is moving towards the white cube moving one then it when it will grip it it will tell us okay so it is closing the gripper it has picked it up now it will move here and keep it here move towards the red cube so this is moving 5 okay it will keep the white cube on this table so there is a little bit of delay since finding IKs is a uh, not a not an easy job it takes time <coughs> okay mm, now we just place this mm -hmm. and then it will move here towards the red cube see it has placed white cube now it will move towards the red cube it will move towards the red cube it will get hold of the red cube it will grip it okay so it is it has closed the gripper then it will move here okay it will leave it there and go on. okay so red cube has been transported here and the white cube has been transported there 
submission is complete and now it says task completed and the program exits okay so that was uh, for our program running and uh, to explain how we did this um, it's it's very simple so let pycharm launch um, so basically what we did was uh, like I have made uh, another um, launch file which is named um, what was its name man let let pycharm launch yeah yeah so its name was load gazebo models.py so when i just launch this one this just loads the model and it doesn't do anything else so this helps me visualize the actual position of the end effector okay and then what i can do is i can go to arvis and i can move move it according to according to my needs okay like uh, you just go to planning and in planning you choose current okay so this is the current position of our Baxter end effector so if you move it like this okay and then you click on plan so it will tell you if it's if it's feasible or not if, if you click on execute that same thing will be done in gazebo okay but here it failed so we have to try some other uh, configuration which 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 can pass so hopefully this passes yeah so we can see that the movement is identical and uh, Arbiz has successfully planned this and what we did was uh, we had these objects right which you can see here so we had to make scene files from URDF files pretty easy and then after you have the scene files you just uh, import them okay so in my case I have them directly on the desktop but I have also included them inside the folder ROS workspace so just go in desktop model.scene okay and uh, model one dot scene import from text model two dot scene import from text model three dot scene okay you get all of these models and then you can get an idea of where your end effector is with respect to these models i have also included them inside the ross underscore workspace and when you go inside it um, like i'll mention the exact folder the name of the exact folder is um, what was the name yeah inside ROS workspace SRC uh, you just go inside ROS workspace yeah and then you go inside SRC you go inside Baxter simulator and you go in Baxter sim examples models and then you go in block okay you have all these so you can import them and then you can do the planning okay and after you do that if you remember we already have uh, like we are already observing that topic uh, yeah this one so we have the current position of this robotic arm like sorry not the robotic arm the end effector so if i move it again okay and then i click on planning plan 
execute okay so you see that these change so these are the x y z position this is how you choose the waypoints and once you choose the waypoints what do you do you put them in pycharm like not pycharm but in in your uh, python python code okay so we modified the code and uh, this uh, these are the waypoints so these are uh, like obtained by trial and error and once you obtain these waypoints what you have to do you just have to define the pose and uh, after that you just call the respective functions mm -hmm. so there are three main functions move and the functions that i have made are close gripper and open gripper so if you take a look at these functions pretty self explanatory open gripper it uh, it's like it has self dot gripper open okay and the close gripper this one has self dot gripper close so you just need to pass the pose uh, let's say uh, pose also not required it is not being used here it it just calls this so this is like my way of doing it you just have to like uh, to avoid any complications i have like uh, just called these two simple functions although they have only one thing inside them and the move move has a lot of stuff inside oh no it on also only has server to pose so server to pose moves the end effector to that pose the pose that you give it so we see that this is highlighted because this is being used but uh, in close gripper and open gripper uh, pose is not being used but for the sake of uniformity i have kept the same format okay so uh, the entire code was explained and i explained how we got the poses and we see that in gazebo the white cube has been transferred and the red cube has also been transferred to the other table okay so all of the points have been covered so the deliverables were uh, screen recording yeah that is done this is also done i have shown the entire python code okay so everything has been done thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day